Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is kind of uh, go over a summary of you know, how to rewrite a, um, an, a ter or an expression using the number uh, using our imaginary unit i. And basically what we're going to be doing is you know, having the square root of a negative number, and we're going to want to simplify that using i. Now basically, the easy way to kind of get rid of that neg square root of a negative number is to use the square root of negative 1 to kind of rewrite that using our rules, our, uh, rules of uh, roots rules of radicals, and then rewrite the square root of negative 1 as i. Then we simply just need to simplify our remaining uh, root. Now, basically that goes to, again, as I kind of mentioned, tips and tricks. This isn't really tips and tricks. It's something you should be doing every day. However, it is something that's very important, um, I believe, especially when we're doing problems. You know, For instance, square root of negative 50, we can rewrite that as the square root of 50 times negative 1. And then that can be broken up into the square root of 50 times the square root of negative 1. So it's not only tips and tricks, but just really understanding the rules of, act, the rules of your radicals is very, very important. And something that I you know, kind of say is a tip and trick is to make sure you really understand those. The next thing is if you're having trouble factoring, you, know, you, don't, you can't factor 50, always break it down. And I always like breaking it down by dividing by numbers that are simple, 2 and 3. And always divide by prime numbers, so 2, 3, 5, 7, okay? Always 11, 13. So if you're having trouble, always look into dividing. Divide with the smallest prime numbers first and then work your, uh, work your way up because these are easy, you know? Everybody can divide 50 by 2, but you might not be as obvious as far as what other numbers divide into it. And then we have 5 times 5, okay? Uh, some common mistakes, students making square numbers again, not knowing their square numbers. You've got to know your square numbers, especially when we're some fine radicals. You have to know square numbers, the square root, Numbers that you can take the square root of and obtain an integer. Um, so square numbers, you know, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, 100, 121, 144. You know, I just keep on going up. 169, 196, 2, uh, 225. Um, and the third thing is check your answer. You know, if you have a calculator, plug it in. Obviously, if you say, you know, if your answer is 5 square root of 2, and you want to see, is that the same thing as square root of 50? Well, plug both of them in your calculator. Make sure you did it correctly. Make sure that you get your decimal is the same. Even though I don't like seeing decimals and um, you know, I don't have my students turn them in, but you can always double check to make sure you did your answer correct to make sure the decimals are the same. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is just a basic summary um, for rewriting, a, rewriting an expression using your imaginary unit, I. Thanks.